Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got the Oxy Digger out here at the Park Pond. Uh, got a new tune on the boat. Got some positive angle. Same same tune you guys seen on the bench last time. This first run out. Uh, a blueprint at the bottom of the boat. Not really that it needed it, but um, yeah, we're, I'm ready to run it. We got the XLX2 in here for a few runs. And uh, 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 1716. Okay, I actually have the GPS in there. Hopefully it records. Let's get it. Okay, so it's my first run with this boat since I've done some work to it, so curious to see what happens here. Nice. So I can't do no speed run. It's running pretty good. It's actually running pretty good. Not really, it does kind of torque over, you know, prop steer a little bit, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Huh? Hey man, I'm just running my boats. I'm just running my boats, man. I'm running my boats. I was out here first. Hey, I, I run my boats just how I run them every day. Hey, come on. called me out, slinging water on. Actually running pretty good, boys. Running pretty good. <laughs> Tell you what, it's running good. All right, let's go check temps. New ESC. This is the the cheap RC lipos that I run, and then I have the SRD pack, which uh, we got some jackass fishermen down there wanting to be a butthead. It actually run pretty good. That little bit of positive angle, it didn't really solve all the props here, but it actually helped out quite a bit. So I'm pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get the GPS. I didn't really get to open it up. I only got like one decent pass in a straight there. Oh, 55, 55 miles an hour. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Not bad. Not bad. Got a ways to go to 100. That's for sure. But we'll get it. We'll get it. All right, let me get my temp gun.
89 on the ESC, 100 on the on the where the wires, the connectors are, 108 on the motor, 95. So everything seems to be good. Okay. Threatened me. That fisherman threatened me. Told me he's gonna come over there and whoop my ass if I got water on him. I told him to come on. I told him to come on. All right, so I walked over here so I can get a little straight pass in so we don't bother the fishermen over there. Uh, 55 was on the last run. I'm just curious to see if it's wanting to torque over. Whoa! <laughs> oh, she didn't want to stop. That's why I don't run my boat on that side. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, my heart's pounding. Whoa. Whoo, boy. Couldn't stop. Thing's got such little hydrodynamic drag. It's so efficient, man. I couldn't stop the boat. Yep, that wasn't me, boys. So uh, we got that one pass in and I kind of ran up on the shore there and uh, yeah, I like doing my, my passes on this side so I can like make that right turn. These boats don't turn good to the left. So we'll do some, uh, we'll do some ovals. Man, I like my new tune I got on it. Definitely like the new tune. All right, so she's wanting to turn to the left there, so I need to straighten this thing up a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's not wanting to like prop walk as bad. N definitely not. Definitely not. Just a little bit. Whenever I get on it hard, it wants to walk over. Definitely not as bad as it was the last time I had it out, which actually did a lot of stuff. So narrowing it, what it was down is uh, pretty tough. You know, whenever you have an RC boat and you're tuning them, it's good to just do one aspect at a time. That way, when you figure out what happened, what, what caused and what the solve was for your problem, you know, you know which way to go with it next time, you know? Um, which just sharpening up the prop. I, I sharpened my prop up. That could have actually helped a lot, you know? Something don't feel right now. Something don't really feel right. Yeah, so my CG, I got my CG back when I put that XLX2 in here. So I moved my turn fin back to the last two holes there, you know? Uh, seems like it's doing good. You can't really tell in this in this area. You know, it's not really the big enough area uh, And it's really rough at the speed run Spot today is blowing south at 10 15 mile an hour can't really tell here, but it's, It would have been rough at the speed run spot
that's probably my 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 battery not bad not bad i definitely like the new tune and uh, like i said i sharpened up that prop kind of thinned the blades out uh the first run i did with this prop on this boat it was prop walking real bad and uh you know i had just basically just sharpened and balanced it i didn't really profile that prop you know let's see what the speed is <laughs> got one good run and uh ran ran up on the bank boy oh my gps was oh 66 66 and we crashed into the bank that's about as much as i can get out of it in this pond <laughs> or at least on the other side of the pond 66 ain't bad boy we'll get it we'll get it all right i've actually um considering ordering a couple of props specifically for this boat oh yeah we could oh i should have run that three blade octura oh man i don't even think i brought it with me So I'm gonna throw the 5300 in there. Uh, I, I, I got this battery specifically for this boat. I gotta discharge it, so we're gonna go ahead and run this one in here. I was gonna wait till the fishermen possibly left, but I, I don't think they are. I think they're just gonna stay here and spite me, you know? The SRD. Yeah. Oh my god, it's got a lot more in it. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Man. Man, she is faster than a scalded dog, boy. Got to be more careful. Sixty-two doing ovals. That's freaking crazy. Sixty-two doing ovals. Hell, we maxed the boat out in a straightaway with the other battery and got what sixty-seven. <laughs> That's freaking crazy, boy. If I could open it up and oh man, oh man, she's seventy mile an hour with the current setup all day long. You know, hopefully, hopefully, I'm trying to get a hundred. That's my whole like. That's my my long-term goal with this boat. Anything over a hundred triple digits i would be happy uh, you know? i definitely think i'm going to move my esc forward okay and i might put the servo back in the oxteen servo it's a little bit lighter but it didn't have no hop so uh that's one of the issues i was trying to solve i didn't mention earlier you know um yeah i'm excited hopefully we can see triple digits with this boat one day i got the stuff to do it with i just got to get out there on a pretty day and, and do it my new tune seemed to do pretty good i'm pretty happy with it um some little odds and ends i probably need to wrinkle out but uh overall i'm pretty stoked you know pretty stoked and of course as soon as i freaking finish up the battery the fishermen leave that's the way it goes so uh yeah i want to move the esc forward i probably need to take this connector out the equation you know that's just more resistance in the in the wires you know and uh takes up valuable space in the boat so we'll probably uh remove that critter there and uh yeah yeah well i appreciate you guys watching had a good time